Okay, next up, columns. So for our estimation for the formworks for columns, it would basically look like this, wherein you would be having your, of course, your forms or your plywoods inside. Then you would be having your bracings here, so these vertical members right here. And for your scaffold, so this would be the scaffold that they have used. And once again, if, if you want 100% accurate work, it is better for you to count them manually and not use the area method. But in the sake of estimation, we are to use the area method. Okay, so for our column, so if we are to get this certain part right here, once again, I have told you that I would only solve for this part of the column right here, which is from the top of the footing to the bottom part of the grade beam. So there. Okay, so considering that form right there, so by the bottom of the grade beam and since it is said here that from the top of the footing to the top of the grade beam that is to be 1.2 meters and the dimension of the grade beam is 200 by 200 millimeters we would be subtracting the depth of the grade beam from this dimension right here which is 1200 so 1200 millimeters minus 200 that is to be 1000 millimeters or one meter so from that i would conclude that this should be 0 0.4 by 0 0.4 by one meter so ayan letter a the first thing that we should do is to compute for the area of the form so forms so area Okay, let's just go to the next page because I want to show something to you. So if this is to be your form works and of course your column is to be 0 0.4 by 0 0.4, this dimensions right here should be 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 because this should be your finished product. So if that is 0 0.4 and 0 0.4, and once again, we are to use 2 inches by 2 inches bracing. So once again, 2 inches by 2 inches bracing. Okay, so if you can see here, we have actually once again added an allowance here. So just like what we did in solving for the formworks for the footing. So ayan, we, have, we must add these parts right here. So if that is to be 2 inches by 2 inches, this dimension right here should also be 2 inches. So 2 inches or in, uh, in meters, that is to be 0 0.05 meters. Okay, so this is how it would look like. So for, for this part right here, so for this part right here, this would be this form right here. And as for this part right here, so this hole right here, this would be its um, appearance from the side view. Okay, so solving for the area of that form. So, a form. Okay, since it is said in the previous slide that the height of this is to be um, 1 meter. So, 1 meter, and considering this, this is to be 0 0.4, 0 0.4 meters, and this is to be 0 0.4 plus 2 times 0 0.05. So, that would be these dimensions right here. So area of the form would be, I would just be getting the perimeters again before multiplying it by our height. So that is to be 0 0.4 times 2 plus 0 0.4 plus 2 times 0 0.05 times 2 times our height which is one meter so times one meter and their answer for the area for the forms would be so 0.4 times 2 plus 
0.4 plus 2 times 0 0.05 times 2 so enter times 1 so times 1 our answer here would be 1.8 square meters so 1.8 square meters so this would be the area of the forms so for us to get the uh, number of plywood once again we would be dividing it by 2.88 so for the number of plywood that is to be 1.8 square meter divided by the area of oops let me fix it divided by the area of one plywood so 2.88 square meters per piece so this would be so 1.8 divided by oops sorry divided by 2.88 that is to be um, 0 0.625 which which we would ultimately round up to one piece plywood okay so after that so once again we don't have any space anymore so I would be just copying this to the next slide okay so that is for step one so or step a and for step b we would be determining the number of board foot for the bracing so bracing so once again what we would be doing here is just to multiply our area of the forms by our factor of 12.71 so board foot bracing is equal to um, 1.8 square meters times 12.71 board foot per square meters so once again this factor right here was derived from our um, from our forefathers of engineering here in the Philippines okay so considering that our answer here would be 1.8 by 12.71 so that would be 22.878 board foot okay so if once again if we are to to use 2 by 2 by 12 so we must get the volume of this 2 by 2 by 12 in board foot so with that, I would just be multiplying our conversion factor of 1 over 12. And 12 would cancel out. So the volume of this lumber right here would be 4 per foot. Of course, for every piece. To determine the number of 2 by 2 by 12, for our bracing, once again, we must divide our total board foot by the board foot of one piece of 2 by 2 by 12. So 22.878 board foot divided by 4 board foot per piece. So board foot would cancel out and we would be arriving at an answer of wait 22.878 divided by 4. Our theoretical answer here would be 5.72 pieces which we would be rounding up to 6 pieces 2 by 2 by 12 so that is to be our answer for the bracing okay so next up we would be solving for the scaffold so by the way see scaffold okay so how can we solve for this so if we are to go back to this slide right here so wait, I, I would just be copying it. So copy, and I would be pasting it to our slide right here. So we would be using this table right here by Max Fajardo. Okay, but word of advice, guys, that if you are to um, use lumber for your scaffold, it is better for you to use at least two by three. So it, I mean, if you would be asking me, it is not advisable to use lumber size 2.3. 
in two by two but of course it would be up to you or if you would be i mean if you have designed your scaffolds properly then go then um just use two by two but for me just for a rule of thumb i would be using a minimum of two by three if i would be using lumber for my scaffold and just to remind you guys that this um factor right here is rather high so once again i would be dividing it by two so whatever the case may be here if you would be using two by two three or four but for our project here let's say that we would be using two by three so use two inches by three inches so let's let's say by 12 foot okay so if you are to use that for our scaffold we would be making use of these factors right here. So I would just be erasing it first. So I would be using these factors right here. So there. Okay, so what would we do next? So for us to get the board foot, so it is said here that for the column, it's this units right here is in terms of board foots per meter height. Board's foot, board foot per meter height i should say okay so for us to get the board foot for our scaffold so that is to be equal to so get the total of this this three so that is to be seven meters i mean seven board foot per meter plus once again divide this colon by two so that is to be 31.67 divided by two plus 17.5 and if you would be adding this the unit would be board foot per meter height and what is to be our height once again we are to consider just one meter so that is just for this part right here so if you would be computing for this part right here of course your height would be 3.3 meters plus whatever the depth of the grid beam is okay so with that once again, our height would be 1 meter, so times 1 meter. So our answer here would now be equal to, so looking at the calculator on your left, 7 plus 31.67 divided by 2 plus 17.5, so times 1. Okay, so our answer here would be 40.335 board foot. So... 40.335 board foot so that is to be the uh, volume of our scaffold that we would be needing and for us to get i mean for us to determine the number of 2 by 3 by 12 we must of course solve for the board foot of 1 2 by 3 by 12 so 2 by 3 by 12 so if we are again to multiply this by our conversion factor of wait by the way inches inches and feet so if we are to multiply this by our conversion factor of one board foot for every uh, 12 inch inch feet so these units would cancel out and it would give you an answer of so wait 2 by 3 by 12 divided by 12 that is to be 6 board foot per piece so 6 board foot per piece so for you to solve the number of 2 by 3 by 12 for our scaffold so n 2 by 3 by 12 that is to be equal to 40.335 board foot so this would be the total board foot divided by 6 board foot per piece and solving for this your answer would now be 40.335 divided by 6 that is to be 6.72 which we would be um, rounding up to 7 pieces so 7 pieces 2 by 3 by 12 so that is to be the quantities that we need for the column.